and I'm very excited to be launching an exciting gender equality initiative in the Caribbean that includes Belize as a priority country. Canada has a long history of supporting the equality of women and girls in Belize. We have been working with established partners to develop training programs that link women and youth, educational institutions, and employers, and help to strengthen the governance of national climate change planning, making it more inclusive of women. We have also supported through our Canada Fund for Local Initiatives, the building of capacities of young Belizean women and girls and raising awareness about the need to put an end to the violence against women. Gender equality is central to Canada's feminist foreign policy and it is fully integrated into Canada's development assistance. This includes responding directly to the needs of women and local women's organizations in the region. For too many years, there has been insufficient strategic engagement and resources specifically targeted to strengthening women's groups to do their own work. Today, I am very pleased and honored and excited to launch the Women's Voice in Leadership Caribbean Regional Project with its specific programming for Belize. This is part of a larger $150 million program, Women's Voice and Leadership Program, that Global Affairs Canada is implementing globally. In the Caribbean, 27 women's rights organizations from eight CARICOM countries will benefit from a total of 4.5 million Canadian dollars. Four of those organizations, I'm pleased to say, are Belizean. Women's Voice and Leadership will work with women's rights organizations, particularly those representing vulnerable and marginalized women and girls in Belize. We welcome this partnership and look forward to contribute to building the capacity of grassroots, Indigenous and LGBTI rights organizations. The project will also work to increase the effectiveness of regional networks and alliances to affect policy, legal and social change in the Caribbean region. When we speak about empowerment, we are referring to the need to increase a woman's sense of self-worth, her decision-making power, her access to opportunities and resources, her influence and control over her own life and her ability and freedom to effect change. Countless studies, reports, and good practices all over the world have provided solid evidence for the immutable fact that gender equality is an imperative for sustainable national development. You know, we're excited to be in partnership, uh, not just with the Equality Fund um, on Women's Voice and Leadership, but with all these amazing partners in, in Belize in the Caribbean because of the phenomenal work that they've been doing with so few resources. One of the things about how we fund is that we provide core support um, because it is important for us to fund each of these organizations based on the priorities that they have. Uh, we want to make sure that the way that these organizations feel that they need to be moving, self-determination, really important to us in the region, um, is something is a principle by which we also stand by and align. You know, our WVL Caribbean grantee partners, they include emerging as well as established organizations that operate in rural areas and also urban areas. Well, for us at Our Circle, um, for those who don't know our organization, what we work towards is creating the lived and legal inclusion of LGBT families in Belize. It has been very difficult for us to be able to provide certain aspects of safety and security in regards to our relationships and in regards to our families, uh, particularly looking at uh, several aspects of family law, uh, even when it comes to estate, when it comes to protection in regards to intimate partner violence. It's been very difficult for the LGBT community in Belize to channel those systems, which of course already exists. Um, We've done well as a country to protect our people. However, the lack of acknowledgement of LGBT families, uh, family structures, um, and a lot of different diverse family structures makes it harder for us to navigate those systems. When it comes to our work with girls, we find that um, it's challenging simply because 
the level of machismo in rural Toledo is still very high. And while we are focused on encouraging girls to stay in school, a lot of the head of households, which still um, is not a shared role, um, you know, deter us from our objective because the, the, the fathers and other uh, men in the community refuse to see education as an equal right for girls.